Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial here at Elipids. In today's video I'm going to review the Isotope Trash 2 plugin that I just bought, just no, like this week or something, that I bought and uh, I really, I'm really glad that I have this plugin now because I think it's a very powerful plugin and before we start I would like to ask you to subscribe and activate the notification so that you know when I upload new videos and if you have any questions just leave a comment below. Also if you like the content here in my channel consider supporting the channel by buying one of my products at telebeats.pt or become a premium or exclusive member and you will have access to exclusive tutorials about music production and also to the project files of the tutorials that I do here so it's the continuation of the tutorials and uh, with more advanced uh, concepts and, uh, and videos and classes and um, thank you all for all the support and the subscribing the channel is growing uh, a lot and uh, I like to see uh, I like to, to see the growth of uh, my work and it's quite nice and thank you all for subscribing and uh, sharing and uh, commenting and uh, putting like it it really helps a lot and uh, thank you all so let's go to the review and uh, this is the plugin by itself with uh, without any any preset or uh, any configuration of the filters and uh, it's very very simple so let me actually reload this because i was messing around with it a little bit before actually this is the second time I record this video because the first time uh, I recorded the screen with OBS but it recorded everything black so yeah I had to redo this this uh, tutorial so let's 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 go through the um, the graphical user interface and this is very simple it's a simple plugin but it's very complex it can be very complex so in this uh, rectangle here we have the filter section so we can have a filter a trash a filter to convolution dynamics and delay and it will this uh, square will reflect it's more like a display will ref reflect the properties of that uh, of each individual uh, filter here so let's enable everything okay and if i play i have here a drum loop and if you go if i bypass this it will sound the same so nothing is yet um, being applied so no filter is being applied here and uh, as you can see here if i go to filter one we have a spectrogram or a spectro analyzer here we also have a spectro analyzer but we can also have the the peak analyzer or the waveform analyzer Again, filter 2, we have a spectrum analyzer. Here, convolution, we have spectrum. Dynamics, we can have both. So, and delay, we can also, we can have this one. And here, this is a, uh, the delay impulse meter. And, uh, okay, this is it. Then, at the right, we have here the input gain, output gain. We have a limiter, uh, which will put everything at minus 0.1. So, let's say I have the input, if I crank up the input, I'm distorting the signal, it's plus 8.9.8, uh, but the output is still at uh, minus 0.1. Why? Because we have this limiter here. So double click to, to reset the parameters. So you can double click to reset the parameters to its default value on any parameters and here we have a dry and wet signal uh, knob where we can mix the the presets or we can mix the the signal chain itself uh, or the filter and we can have it dry or wet which is having it dried is the same as being bypassed here we have the preset knob where we can go and select every we can select whatever we want and you can see that it can have very nice nice uh, effects let's say you want to use this one like a parallel compress uh, parallel effect so we can put it like this and just add it uh, as as uh, as we want this is maybe too much okay now let's bypass 
very big difference. Okay, put it like this, a little bit more. It gives just a, a new, oops, a new meaning to the drums. Okay, so yeah, this is the um, the preset parameter, and here we have uh, uh, a solo bypass option history graph and reset reset will only reset this filter so if i go here to trash let's say i want to reset everything i can go here and reload plugin or i can just simply go to trash reset go to convolve reset dynamics and reset and now i don't have anything uh, here being applied as you can see we don't have any gain reduction or compression and uh, yeah this is it we have the graph the graph shows us how the signal flow which starts with the filter filter and then convolution and then trash and then filter 2 and then dynamics and then delay and then at the end the spectrum what we can do is just simply reset this and it will have this sequence filter trash filter convolve dynamics delay and of course the spectrum you can see, uh, you can have a lot of control here over the, um, the filter blocks and you can create completely crazy chains, uh, effect chains, which is quite nice. Then we have here the history, which is basically an, uh, an undo step uh, list that you can undo stuff. And uh, we have here some options. I will not go into detail into the options. I will leave that for the premium and exclusive members. And of course, we have a bypass. We can bypass this uh, or enable the filter like this. This is bypassed. It's blinking red. And if I click it here, it's enabled. And you can see it with this uh, turned on uh, knob that you can also bypass, enable or disable. And you can also have the solo. So. Let's say I want to just listen to this effect. As you can see, I have these ones here. This one's the trash convolve in dynamics enabled. If I put solo, all the other ones will be disabled. So I can just listen to this one. Okay. And uh, here, the filter is very simple. It's just a normal filter that you can select stuff. Okay, let me put the, the, the mix all the way to, to, the, to, the, to the end. Okay, let's take some uh, some of the low, the high frequencies. Let's increase the boosts. The let's boost the lows. As you can see, this only goes to minus the, uh, 10 dBs. Okay. Okay. Let's keep it like this, for instance. Then we have the trash. The trash. This is a wave shaper. And uh, you can have here some uh, some crazy presets you can go through, or you can completely create your own. You can change your own, the already already defined. I like this one. Okay, you can have another filter where you can maybe lower a little bit of the, the filter a little bit of the low frequencies that we added with trash and maybe we can even like this I like the, the base of this then we have the convolver the convolver basically it's a, a convolution algorithm that you can you have several several um, for instance amp signals one you can change the type of mic that it was recorded with quite nice let me go with this Chelsea classic then we have some dynamics dynamics is basically compression so we can compress here the signal let me increase the ratio and now you see some compression happening actually you see a lot of compression you can also apply a gate 
Okay, let's increase the ratio of the gate. Okay, I like this. And of course, you can add the delay at the end and enable it. And uh, let's increase here the weight. And of course you can mix the amount of signal that you want. I kind of like it. It's a nice preset for drums. Maybe, let's see, maybe not so much here in the, in the lows. And here in this filter. Let me increase here the mids. Okay, I like this. This is the original. This is the final. As you can see, we can have a lot of... Uh, we can do a lot with this plugin and it completely changed the, um, the signal or the, the drum pattern. Like this, it's very distorted, very rough and rugged. Of course, there are inside of each plugin, you will see a lot of options that you can select with. You can have a multi band compressor here in the convolution, you can change the dynamic, the, the mic type. I like this ribbon here in the filters, you can change the type of filters here. And in the trash, you can also change uh, some, uh, some drive, the drive, the mix and gain, the pre-amplifier, you can change the tension here, you can put it on bit bipolar, logarithmic mode, and uh, let's say, let's change the, the tension. here okay so this is it guys this is a uh, just a general review I'm not sh I'm not into this plugin yet too much because it's still new to me so I still have uh, a long way to learn to how to mess with it and um, with the with the, the tutorials I will start using it more and understand more its uh, cap capabilities and uh, yeah, you will see me using, so stay tuned for, for my videos and you will see how to, to use because I will start using this plugin uh, much more because this can give you very different textures and it can completely change the way your, your, your sounds sound. <laughs> and uh, this is it guys. For the premium and exclusive members, I will go into, I will go deeper into each, each filter. So if you want to have a more deep understanding of each, each parameter inside of the, um, the of each filter here, uh, be sure to, to check out my uh, exclu premium and exclusive membership. And um, with that, you will also be able to see all my past and future videos, uh, all the member, uh, the membership videos. They will be there available for for you guys, and you will be able to also download every single project that I do here for YouTube in the past and of course in the future. And uh, you will be able to access everything. So. Uh, before I go, I would like to ask you to subscribe and activate the notification so that we know when I upload new videos. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And again, if you like uh, this content here, consider supporting this channel by buying one of my products at dailybeats.pt or again, become a premium or exclusive member and you will have access to exclusive tutorials and also to the project files of the tutorials that I do here. This is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I record everything correctly this time and I'll see you in the next one, peace.